later that the jury should or should not be sequestered. Um, we are threatened publicly on, by various uh, formats, phone, Twitter. Um, we live at, at a secluded place that nobody knows where we live. Um, we have death threats directed at us for being George's family. Um, we do not engage people very much, and certainly not in any meaningful sense in public, um, because we have to keep a very low profile publicly. I'm happy to engage the press here because I'm safe here. Piensan ustedes que van a tener un juicio justo y cómo ha sido este último año para ustedes? Una combinación de las dos preguntas. Primeramente, ustedes piensan que van a tener un juicio justo aquí. Primeramente, creo que el sistema judicial que tenemos en este país es el mejor sistema que existe en el mundo. Ahora, obviamente hay problemas con este sistema y una de las cosas que me preocupa bastante es que el jurado, si es, uh, si no es secuestrado, uh, no va a ser anónimo. Yo creo que se van a encontrar con tremenda presión del jurado uh, de lo que sienten a veces uh, las personas que tienen que hacer algo. Y en Florida la ley uh, ordena que si no puedes encontrar a alguien culpable de asesinato, puedes incluir otras ofensas menores. Uh, entonces eso me preocupa bastante. ¿Cómo está tu hermano? ¿Cómo está tu hermano anímicamente? ¿Cómo está la familia? Uh, ¿Puedo hablar de la pregunta? Sí, claro. Um, puedo, estar, uh, puedo hablar de mi familia y cómo nosotros nos sentimos en Yo está bajo uh, bastante estrés, pero estamos contentos con la representación que tiene George. Uh, tenemos confianza que el Estado no va a poder pro comprobar su, su aleg su, lo que alega y que George va a salir exonerado. Y después la segunda parte es cómo ha sido el último año. Sí. El último año ha sido uh, un año extraordinariamente profundo para nosotros como familia, viviendo juntos. Uh, las familias se unen normalmente en fiestas, en celebraciones, pero nosotros estamos juntos todos los días. Entonces, y solo juntos con nosotros, solo los días. No, no salimos mucho en público y no, no, no nos encontramos en situaciones de uh, poder conocer a, a, a nadie. Entonces, uh, ha sido un año difícil, pero hemos, nos hemos reforzado el uno al otro. Estás diciendo que estás siendo víctima tú como hermano de George Zimmerman. You answered this question earlier in English, um, and I'd like to get an answer from you in Spanish as well. Um, so, prácticamente, si me puedes decir, ¿cómo ha sido, ¿hasta qué nivel, hasta qué punto han sido estas amenazas tú como hermano? Víctima no me gusta mucho esa palabra, pero soy familiar de alguien que desafortunadamente cuando se inyectó raza, en este caso, uh, nos puso en una situación bien peligrosa. La policía me llamó y me dijo que mi casa no era un sitio seguro para estar. Eso fue hace un año, más en, en mi cumpleaños. Uh, y desde ese entonces uh, me preocupa no solo para mí, porque acá estamos, hemos sobrevivido, pero me preocupa para el futuro George Zimmerman o el futuro Trayvon Martin, cualquiera de esas, es una situación que exista así en el futuro, uh, no se debe de amenazar a una familia entera. Una familia entera simplemente porque alguien está uh, enfrentado con cargos, cual, cualquier cargo, uh, no debe de ser amenazada constantemente y vivir así en las tinieblas. Robert, how confident is George in the outcome of this case? And do you think he's going to be the case? Very good questions. I don't speak for George or his confidence. I can tell you as a family, we're very confident in the outcome of the case, and we're very confident um, that the state will not be able to meet its burden. And it's a twofold burden here in Florida. Not only do they have to prove that this was a murder, as they allege, they also have to prove simultaneously that it could not have been self-defense. So we're confident uh, the state will meet its burden, and that kind of backs into our confidence in the legal team. As you can see from the past few days, Don West has been extraordinary. He's Mark O'Mara's secret weapon, in my opinion. And uh, going forward, uh, depending on how the state brings its case, uh, they will show even more of their uh, eloquence in presenting. Talk to me a little bit about the jury meeting your brother today. And the, I should say potential jurors meeting your brother Can I address the stand real quick? I'm sorry, oh, just, just one second. Um, about the stand, obviously it would be inappropriate for me to comment about that, but I will say George has made several statements. Some of those statements he made while his voice was being analyzed uh, to detect deception. He's made statements in his own voice, he's made statements while they're videotaped, he's made statements by his own hand writing to police, he made statements to Sean Hannity. 
And I think that, in a sense, uh, in terms of what's available in discovery, he has taken the stand. He's been very consistent. He has always told the truth from the beginning. He was attacked, his nose was broken, and the attack continued, and he defended himself. So, um, as for taking the stand in any you know, case uh, in this country, the burden is on the state. So, before we get to taking the stand, we have to really think about what an appropriate defense would be uh, and, and juxtapose that to how the state presents its case. It's my suggestion that the state doesn't have a case. Mr. Romero's gone on the record saying the state knows that they have a very weak case. I believe it's an improper charge altogether. I wish they would just withdraw it. Seeing as how that's not likely to happen now, um, I'm confident they're not going to meet their burden. Should he have been charged with anything? No, you don't charge in this country simply to uh, assu assuage the concerns of, of masses. Uh, you, you charge when there's probable cause. And I have no doubt that uh, Mr. Mr. Lee, the former chief of Sanford, Florida, uh, chief of police, and the district attorney's office, or state attorney's office as it is here, would have liked nothing more than to find any threat or ounce of probable cause that they could have used to charge George with any crime. They in fact found none and then it became politicized. And unfortunately, a political calculation was made centered around the politics of race and the law was defiled. I asked you yesterday and I'm asking again, do you find that during the trial when you let out your own Twitters that are, as we discussed, integrated, racist in nature, aren't you fueling the fire? Well, I did not discuss or agree to that. I think that uh, it's important to a lot of people who support their family that they have a front row seat. They don't trust the media, and I think rightfully so. They, they think that they've learned that uh, the media is, is very good at putting their own spin on what they want uh, the narrative to be. They say it makes it less confusing for the public. But I don't have an employer. I'm not employed by NBC, CBS, CNN, or anybody else. So I don't have editors or I don't have uh, you know, bosses. And I just try to be as honest as I can. Having said that, when the jury is actually selected, after there's a jury selected, I will not be tweeting anymore. What do you feel like your Estás tú, ponte tú en el lugar de tú, tú cómo te sientes. Yo me siento, bueno, como hermano mayor siempre te enseñan, you know, lo que, lo que sufre el menor lo debes de sufrir tú o debería de ser tú, tú eres el ejemplo, tú eres el que uh, tiene que ayudar a tu hermano. Uh, George me inspira a mí. George ha tenido una, una vida horrible desde que esto empezó. Uh, no se mereció lo que pasó. Lo que pasó fue que la ley que lo protegía, la ley de, de, de defensa propia, uh, fue violada y fue violada por raza, por motivos racistas, por, por personas que metieron esos motivos racistas en una historia donde no pertenecían. ¿Hablaste con tu hermano? ¿Y qué es lo que te dijo? Uh, ni yo, uh, yo no hablo de, de las conversaciones que tengo yo ni nadie de mi familia de las conversaciones que tiene con George. George debe tener su privacidad y eso lo respetamos. ¿Cómo te sientes del equipo eh, que lo está defendiendo? Excelente, es el mejor equipo en el estado de Florida. So so George, George, has, will George's parents come and watch the trial? Uh, our parents are, we're working on security. They're not here today, obviously. They uh, understand it's important to support George during jury selection and especially during the trial. Um, but we're working on security, and, and hopefully, you know, maybe we can make something happen sometime this week. So, so children, children, why this year? all been living together in the same house, or what's... We don't really talk about that, but we have a lot of family time. That's that's how I'll leave that. We don't talk about, you know, same house, different house, or who's, who's where, because it sends the wrong signal sometimes in terms of how to reach us. So, um, we've had a lot of family time. Robert, who's sitting with you and Shelly in the courtroom? I know there's a security guard, but yes. I'm told there's some other people. Are they family members, or who's sitting with you guys? That bench is, is for family, and the only other people, I guess the rules were relaxed today, and, and uh, the only other people who have sat there are Mr. West's family members or kind of overflow from the defense team, but it has been just family up, up until today. How is Shelly facing that? Shelly's facing perjury charges, so I can't comment on anything about Shelly right now. Do you talk about the jury, the potential jurors meeting your brother today and whether or not you think that will have any impact? I, I think it's, uh, if it would not have had impact, then Mr. Romero would not have asked for it. I think that one of the problems in this situation was that there was a big vacuum surrounding who George Zimmerman was. And so this mythological monster evolved that people 
had nothing to contrast with. I think it's important that jurors get to know that George is a real person. Uh, he's not just whatever images people flash across the screen or whatever narrative people write about. Um, he's a sensitive person. He's generous. Uh, he's uh, very likable if you actually get to meet him. And I think it will, it will do, it's the right thing to do. ¿Podrías repetir eso en español, sí. por favor? Tu hermano ha sido prejuzgado injustamente, diría así. ¿Y cómo es tu hermano? Okay. Uh, la ah, pregunta sí. fue si es que es buena idea que él conozca el jurado. Yo creo que sí es buena idea porque George es una persona real. George no es una imagen en la televisión o algo que se lee en el periódico. Es una persona con sentimientos, es una persona sensitiva, generosa y honesta. Yo creo que es importante que el jurado lo pueda ver a él como un ser humano y no simplemente una historia. Robert, as intelligent as you are and eloquent and as well educated as your family is, your father being a magistrate judge, what possessed Shelley and your brother to go ahead and tell a judge, we have no money, we have nothing? What possessed you when you knew you had funds? I, first of all, I disagree with that, that they were, they somehow collaboratively told that to me. Second of all, because Shelley's facing charges, I don't comment on that right now. ¿Cuál es tu mensaje a la comunidad hispana que los está siguiendo el caso de cerca? Yo creo que es importante uh, entender que cuando me acerqué a la prensa, lo hice en, una, en algo que se llama Café con Leche. Quise acercarme a la prensa uh, latina, hispana, latinoamericana, pero no quise hacerlo de un modo que iba, iba a inyectar más raza en el diálogo. Por ejemplo, decir... No somos blancos, somos latinos. Eso, eso es un argumento nulo, porque es como decir, un latino no puede ser racista, una persona negra o una persona blanca, sí. Uh, nuestra madre trabajó bastante para integrar, integrar a la comunidad latina uh, toda su vida. Y parte de integración es respetar el concepto de que todos somos americanos y, y, y respetar nuestra cultura y nuestros orígenes, pero no insistir que raza sea... Uh, Two more. Are you surprised by what seems to be a relatively small number of protesters out there? Did you expect um, more? Uh, good question. I will expect more going on. I'm a little surprised that they're not uh, more vocal. You know, sometimes a, a small group of people can make a lot of noise. But um, I think that I think it's a, what, what I'm really happy about is that the public seating has been managed so well because I think that the public has to respect the burden and in order for that to happen they have to actually participate in the process. Last one. We're good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.